Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 333. Today we are doing another CHL2 box break. We are once again going Bedard hunting. Uh, pretty straightforward, same as the last CHL breaks. You get a random CHL conference, so OHL East, West, QMJHL East, West, and WHL East and West. Uh, the WHL East is the, conf or the like conference you want to get because they have the Regina Pats, um, and that's where Connor Bedard plays. So... Uh, yeah, really all there is to it. So three times on the names, three times on the teams, who you line up with is who you get. In general, these breaks have been pretty fun. Again, as per usual, you'll get at least 12 cards from the break. Um, tried to do that just to make sure you get a little bit of extra value, but here we go. Three times on the names, three times on the teams. All right. There are 17 spots left in the Series 1 versus Series 1, so 2021 versus 2022, and 2022 versus 2023 uh, left on the site as well. If that fills tonight, it'll break. Well, once it fills, it'll break, essentially. So three times, once, twice, third time. Jason on top, Graham, Graham, Brent, Brent, Marshall. My cat is excavating. I can hear her. <laughs> All right, three times on the teams. Once, twice, third time. Uh, all right, QMJHL West, East, OHL West, WHL East, OHL East, WHL West. All right, Jason with the QMJHL West, Graham with uh, QMJHL East and OHL West. Uh, Brent, you've got WHL East and OHL East, and Marshall with WHL West. So there are your teams. Pretty straightforward. Here we go. Yeah, so in terms of like, I think the most consistent team has obviously been the WHL East. Like, that or team division is the. Yeah, definitely been them. But then I think uh, OHL. I think OHL East has been the next most consistent. Yeah, so I think it's kind of been because East is Kingston. Yeah, so uh, and then it kind of like alternates between I guess QMJHL East has been OK most of the time. OHL West has been OK most of the time. Uh, it's the two other Wests, the QMJHL and WHL that are like the very swingy ones where they will either have a lot or not a lot. So, or no, sorry, I think I'm getting QMJHL East and West mixed. No, it's definitely West. All right, here we go. Box one. I will say my favorite part about going through sorting this is I put East on the left and West on the right when it, like my brain just can't comprehend that because it's like, oh, West needs to go to the left because that's the direction it is. So, but yeah, uh, there's 17, like I was mentioning, 17 spots left in the Series 1 mixer. Well, mixer. It's essentially the usual half case of each that we do. Um, just a fun little kind of break. Gets a couple other teams, like, a little bit better. Uh, 6904 on the box numbers. So, 17 spots left in on that. And then there's two left in this exact same style format, except it's random league. So, you get either the OHL, QMJHL, or WHL. Uh, that is 73 bucks a spot as well. If you're watching this on YouTube, I will try to include links to both breaks individually, but there will be a link to the description below as well. So here we go. Ooh, I just need to get the... I'm pretty good with the teams by now, but I just want to make sure I have it up in case. I need it. So one second. There we go. But yeah, in terms of breaks over the next, like just kind of going through and planning breaks for the rest of the month, well, and year, I guess, at this point. Um, been pretty, uh, we'll have a couple like other little cool breaks here and there, but yeah. All right, starting off, we have, there's a Chromiac, Hardy, Stars of Zachary Dean for the Gatineau Olympics, that's WHL, or sorry, QMJHL West. And then Parker Bell for the WHL West. So, hey, two teams I said that kind of struggle the most are hitting the first. 
A little bit of rough corner on the Parker Bell there, but exclusives to 100. Again, not the like biggest exclusives you could get, but hey, it's a numbered card. Sometimes if you get the right player and they pop off, they sell pretty well. All right. Pack number two. Uh, no one super injured. Evangelista for the London Knights. That is going to be their OHL West. And Shane Wright scored his first goal last night. A little bit of a revenge game there. Kingston, that is OHL East. One second. I just got to... My allergies picked up today. I think maybe I'm allergic to something I'm eating. Well, I mean, I think I think I am, but I'm trying to figure out what. All right. Did we go two for two here? On kind of the best profiles to get? Stars of Brett Harrison for Oshawa. That's OHL East. And Connor Bedard for the Pats. CHL profiles. I mean, hey. Both of them are going to be at the World Juniors, so it'll be interesting to see how Shane Wright stuff does. I think there might be a bit of a pickup if he pops off at the Juniors, but we'll see. Well, hey, every single break has had a Bedard. Every single break. That is pretty crazy, too. Lennon. Uh Nathan Gaucher for the Quebec Ramparts. That is WHL East, or sorry, QMJHL East, not WHL. Uh, Ethan Gautier for Sherbrooke Phoenix, QMJHL West. I don't know why I said WHL. Uh, bank here. Novak Stars rookie of Aiden Castle for Niagara. That is WHL. Or why am I saying WHL? Uh, OHL East. <laughs> and Reed Anderson for the Medicine Hat Tigers. That is WHL East. I just want to say WHL. I'm just prepping for the big hit, I guess. So Williams, Couture, Cadu, uh, Prokop for the Oil Kings, that's WHL East, and Neto for Schwinnigan, that is QMJHL West. Another CHL profiles. All right, uh, Vincent Rohr for the Ottawa 67s. Again, that is OHL East. And Matt Lindgren for the Kamloops Blazers, WHL West. Drew Krebs. Tyson Greenway, Spachak. Stars of Benjamin Gaudreau for the Sarnia Sting. That's the West in the OHL. And... Antonin Vero for the uh, Gatineau Olympique on the Retro Star Rookie. Well, not Retro, the Update Star Rookie. That is QMJHL West. I also think the smartest thing I did was uh, sorting this break as we go along, because it makes it a lot easier. Lajoie, Johnson, Trudeau, Will Cole for the Windsor Spitfires. On the, I need to remember how to pronounce his name, but uh, OHL West and Bertucci for the Flint Firebirds. That is also OHL West. Eh, they're kind of picking up a little bit. We have another star rookie, I think, or another exclusives at least. Nine, Roman Seeley, that's probably one of the better ones. Matthew Soto for Kingston. On the Star Rookies, not horrible. And Olivier Nadeau, first win again on the exclusives to 100. So 
So a double exclusives box. Typically you get either an exclusives and an auto or like you get one exclusives per box or a numbered card per box. Uh, that is QMJHL West. You get a numbered exclusives per box and then either an auto, a plate, or another numbered card. And then also a clear cut per box, which we have here. Colton Doc, Braden Holt, Tyson Bauer, uh, Sasha Pastuzhov for Guelph, that is OHL West, and Zach Ostopchuk for the Vancouver Giants. WHL West. That is 2007 Memorial Cup champion Vancouver Giants. Probably up there for favorite sporting event I've ever actually like been in person at. So, all right, here we go. Finishing things off on box one. Danny Shulkin for the Gulf Storm. It is a center. Uh, Luke Woodworth, Woodworth for the Drummondville Voltigeurs. That's uh, West on both. OHL on the Danny and uh, QMJHL on the Luke. So box one, I mean, hey, we got inserts of Bedard and Wright, a clear cut of a guy who's going to be on Team Canada in a shorter print set. That's not bad. Not bad. I think the dough's not horrible. Like, you could do worse, you know? Soto's not the worst star rookie. Is an okay box. I mean, it's a good box. It had a Bedard. It's literally what it comes down to. Uh, 50557. Five, yeah, I've quite enjoyed doing these breaks, actually. Um, I'm looking forward to when more CHL stuff comes out. It's a lot of fun. It's one of those, like... It's always a weird product, because it's, like... If you time it right, it's absolutely, like, extremely valuable, but... You know, as a player gets NHL cards and stuff, the cards do drop in value over time. So, but it's also your first chance to capitalize on draft hype, um, on like world junior hype, stuff like that. So, Sweat Look Off, Grand, uh, Lindgren, Cheka, Stankoven for the Kamloops Blazers on the Stars. And Brant Clark, he got invited to Team Canada. I'm actually happy to see that for Barry. Very, very talented. Should have been on their roster last year, but didn't. I don't. Did he even get an invite last year? I don't remember. Ivan Ivan, Boyko. Uh, Nico Hutinen. For the uh, Everett Silvertips, that's West in the WHL. And McConnell Baker for the Sioux. Future Toronto Maple Leaf probably then. Uh, OHL West. No, it has to be Kyle Dubas Sioux to be a guaranteed uh, future WHL or future Toronto Maple Leaf. Almost guaranteed at least. Star rookie of Kazbikov for London Knights. That is West for the OHL. And Riley Height, first drafts, Prince George Cougars. That is WHL West. So far, pretty balanced outside of Quebec, uh, QMJHL East. So maybe we'll see some more cards there. Berkus. Uh, Quinton Musty for the Sudbury Wolves in the East. And Maverick Lamoureux for the Voltageurs on the Star Rookie. That is going to be um, Kim J. Chell West. All right. Base cards. All base cards. Star rookie of uh, Cedric Guindon for the um, Owen Sound attack. That is OHL West. 
and Spencer Mahot or sorry, Spencer Stepan Mahotchek, I'm guessing. Probably similar to Spencer Mahotchek on the exclusives. So 100. Again, same thing. Going sound, which is OHL West. It might be Matrachek, but might be Matrachek. Let me clean up the box here. All right. So let's see a QMJHL East card. Or a really nice Bedard. So kind of the two things I'm pulling for right now. Uh, Matt Savoie on the stars for the Winnipeg Ice. A little bit of a soft corner there. That is on the um, WHL East. And Soto on the CHL profiles. That is OHL East. Super major uh, star rookie at uh, gas is off for the London Knights. That is OHL West. Holy cow. Uh, and Sebastian Casa on the next step for the Edmonton Oil Kings. WHL East. Uh, Yan Mysak. Uh, for the Hamilton Bulldogs, OHL East, and Robert Orr, star rookie for the Halifax Mooseheads. That's QMJHL East. Probably one of the more, like, not unfortunate names, but, like, just stands for Bobby Orr. <laughs> so, kind of funny. Always going to have those expectations. Uh, Casa for Edmonton Oil Kings. That is uh, WHL East. And then uh, Medima for the Windsor Spitfires. That's OHL West. Ah, oh, OHL West is kind of uh, cleaned up in terms of quantity. Ooh, we have a 99. We have an out of 99. And it's an ice. There are some good players there. Stars of Jack Finley for the Winnipeg Ice and Zach Benson on the first draft for the Winnipeg Ice. Nice one there. Projects to be like a top 15 pick this year. So number to 99. All right. So we should have our clear cut left and that's really about it. So here's our clear cut. All right, let's see who it's going to be. Uh, Pano Femis, Femis for the Niagara Ice Dogs, OHL East, and uh, Paul Ludwinski on the Star Rookies for the Kingston Frontenacs. That is also OHL East. Famous was projected to be like a high, like a first rounder last year, but kind of fell off the radar. What do we have here? We do have a retro star rookie, so still technically a dark chance. I don't think it'll happen, but hey, there's a chance. Uh, this is just upside down for no reason. Uh, Ludwinski for Kingston and Zimmer for Brandon on the star rookies. So. Uh, overall, two boxes, I mean, hey, can't really get, like, you can get better, obviously, but not bad. So, uh, key highlights, S. Ludwinski on the clear-cut rookie, Shane Wright on the profiles, um, probably I'll stop Chuck on the clear-cut, uh, first draft of, <coughs> excuse me, I had to catch that, uh, Zach Benson on this first draft, red to 99, and then, you know, the break. As per usual with these breaks, it's Connor Bedard. So, group break 333. Uh, spots left in 334 and 335.